Hey cutesies! Today we're going to be transforming our boring windows theme to a more cutesy and dreamy vibe. We're going to customize the OS theme itself as well as decorate our desktop. And the finished result should look like this. So I'm in my default window setup here and before we go ahead, the first thing that we've got to do is to create a restore point by typing it in the search box. Open it and let's hit create and then we'll just give it a name. Let's name this pre-nuke windows or pre-nuke install. That'd be nice. Let's hit OK. And this is to make sure that we can revert to a point in time when we haven't installed the theme yet. In case anything goes wrong that might be due to installing customized theme. So take it at your own risk and make sure you create a restore point. Alright, so once that's done, let's just hit close and then OK. Next, we'll download a program that allows us to install a customized Windows theme. There are two softwares we can use to do this. A more popular one is called Ultra UX Theme Patcher and the other one is called Secure UX Theme. I personally would prefer using Secure UX Theme because it says it does not make any system file modifications and other perks while Ultra UX Theme Patcher does as seen on their webpage, which might lead to unexpected problems or total breakdown of Windows, especially when updating Windows to another build. I found a subreddit discussion regarding this topic and I'll link it below if you want to check. So let's go ahead and download it via this link right here and I'll save this to downloads. But as you can see, I already have it saved here so you can just go ahead and save yours but I'll just cancel mine because I already got it here. And once that's done, we'll now need to download a Windows theme to install and a place we can search for some is on divinr.com. And this is a specific theme that I truly like because, well, it's just too cute. And it's the Nuke X Windows theme. And as you can see, it's first in the search results. Now let's click on this preview. And here we can see how it should look like when installed. Well, I think it's really cute. It has this soft yellow crafted paper vibe on it that I find more friendly to the eyes and a cute teal contrast on top. Plus, these teal accents on this partition and a mango yellow on the left navigation. Everything will look like this, but you can customize it to your liking later. Now, you need to make sure that your Windows build version is one of these builds, which by the way, now includes the 2004 build. To make sure it is, open Run by typing it on the search bar and type WinVer on the empty box once it's opened and hit OK. You should be seeing your Windows build version here, as you can see mine's 1909 which is compatible with this as you can see here it's even optimized for 1909 as of this point okay now let's download the theme through this download button icon save it wherever convenient to you mine's on downloads and as you can see it's already here do save yours i'm just going to hit cancel since i already have it here once you've downloaded it let's go ahead and extract the file and I use WinRAR to do this. You can use whatever extractor you have on your computer that can extract .rar files. And let's hit OK. And here it is. Let's just open it. Then let's go to Theme. And copy all of what's inside here by hitting Ctrl C. Then let's go to Drive C. Then go to the bottom, click Windows. Find the folder named Resources, click on Themes, and just paste everything we copied from the Nuke Theme folder by Control V. Cool. Let's go back to the Downloads folder. Now we can run the Theme Patcher tool we downloaded earlier. So just right click on it and run as Admin, and then just click yes when this license agreement prompt pops up. And now we're seeing the available themes that are on Windows theme folder. So there are six variations of the Nuke theme here. 
And what we need to do is click Patch. And I'd like to tick all the boxes on the right here to make sure I'd properly install everything the theme has to offer. Otherwise, you might not see some features of the theme. I tried it and some parts were missing. So just be mindful of that. And click the theme you want to install and just hit install. And once this dialog box appears, just hit no because we are still downloading the other five variations left before we do a reboot just to save time. So just click the next variation, then click patch, but don't click patch and apply, just patch because we're not applying the theme yet. We're just installing it first in the system. Do the same for the rest until you're done. Alright, and once done, that's when we'll do a reboot. So we've already restarted the PC and now it's time to apply the theme. Let's right click on the desktop and select personalize to access personalization. Then go to themes. Then you will see all the installed existing themes here, including those we've just added. As you can see, the Nuke theme is already here. There are six of them here and you can pick and experiment on any, but I'll just choose the third one, which is called Nuke X and CSB. And once that's clicked, you'll see this window with a teal accent, which indicates it's been applied. Let's just minimize that. All right, so let's check if the changes have been applied on the file explorer. And as you can see, the background has now become yellow, which means the changes have been applied. Now I'm just going to click on this PC, and as you notice, the folder still doesn't look like the preview image of the theme. This is because we need third-party theme icons to replace the default Windows icons, and an installer that will allow us to apply it. So let's just close this, and let's just open up DeviantR.com again, and we'll particularly search for Cake OS icon, because well, this is really cute, and I think it goes well with the Windows theme we've installed. As we can see on the preview here, with all these available colors you can choose from, as well as icons for other system functions. See, I think it's pretty, you know. There's this Dispartition icons, and these cartoony icons here, like the volume icon and the web icon, and all these stuff are just looking so cute and doodly. Now let's close this. Let's just skim through the bottom to check, and as you can see, you need Windows Build version 1903 or higher to install this. So just be mindful of that little important requirement. Now let's just go up to go to Downloads, then just download the file through here. And I'm just going to save it to Downloads. And as you can see, I already have the file here, and you can just click Save on yours, but I'm just going to cancel because I already have it. Now let's just go to the downloads folder and then let's click on the file and then let's just right click to extract it and then just hit OK. And I'm just speeding up things here and just open this folder. And as you can see you have this dot remove extension here in the files and let's just go to the readme part. And it's basically just telling us to remove the dot remove extension to revert to the main file extension and choose which one of these folder theme you'd like to install. I'll just select red because actually it looks pink on the picture. So let's just rename this and remove the dot remove file extension here. Hit yes on the prompt and I think that's good. Now the right file format to be applied. Now we need to download a software that will allow us to install and apply these third-party icons in the Windows machine works like an applicator and I'll just type it here to quickly go to that page and the name of the installer is actually called 7TSP GUI 2019 edition. You can read what's down here and once you're done with that let's just go ahead and download the software through this download button and then I'll again save it to my downloads folder but as you can see I already have it here so I don't need to but I'll just hit cancel because I already have it here now let's do the same drill let's go to downloads and then let's seek for that dot file files that we've downloaded 
and then you can just use any .rot file extractor. I'm just gonna use mine. Right click on it, and then just uh, click extract, and it just hit OK. And there it is, and let's just open it. And then you are seeing three files here. And what we need to do is change the .ee extension in this first file named 70spgui2.exe to revert it to a fully functioning executable file. So we right click on it and then rename the file and insert x or x is missing, no pun intended. And as you can see, it now became an executable file ready to run. Now we need to run the program, just right click on the program here with a huge 7 icon, run as administrator. Then this window dialog box should appear, click on the bottom that says add a custom pack, then go to the folder where your icons are, find the icon you want to install, and it's this red one which we removed the dot remove extension earlier. Select that and then click open. And I'm going to speed the video up until it's finished processing. And once it's done installing the icon pack, it's going to ask for a reboot. And I'll just click yes on this prompt. I'm going to see you on the next slide. So we just finished the computer restart and you should now be seeing this small pop-up that says the system has been patched. So we just click OK. And now we're seeing the desktop icons are now all new. Let me just make this bigger so you can see it clearly by right clicking on the desktop, choose view, then large icons and it's now bigger than it was. And if you've noticed the right option color has been changed to a creamy yellow, which I think is cute. Reminds me of paper stationery or paper pads. Let's just go back to medium. And now let's pull up File Explorer to see what the icons look like in there. And voila! We now have these soft candy pink folders, which I can see is really cute, paired with a cream paper pad feeling looking background, which kind of reminds me of craft papers or pretty stationaries, which I think also goes great with the soft gray icons on the disk partitions, as you can see here. And when we go to the Windows Start menu icon, we'll see the light teal accent that comes with the theme has also been applied, as you can see here. But we can change that. And to do so, let's minimize this first. Then let's go to the desktop, then let's right click on the desktop, select personalize. Then let's go to colors. And in the drop down menu here, let's choose costume. And I like choosing dark over here on the default windows mode and down here on the default app mode. And there, it has changed the Windows accent for us. Let's scroll down. Because I like to change it to a darker teal color. And let's try this. And now, then we scroll to the bottom. We're now seeing the default font color has also been changed to that theme accent color. As well as on the start menu. And now, if we take this upper box right here, we're now seeing the entire darker teal color applied of the entire start menu background, as well as on the taskbar. And if we untick that, it's going to, of course, revert to the basic, which is what I prefer than the extended one. Also, let's scroll to the top. I'd like to make the taskbar a little transparent. We can just turn this on, and as you can see, it now looks a little see-through than the basic solid color we're used to seeing on the taskbar. And that's it. Let's close this. So this completes our Windows theme customization, and the finished result should look like this. So that's going to be the desktop, and this is going to be the file explorer. Let's see what other programs would look like. This is how the notepad looks, and this is how the word pad looks. And as you can see, they're all in creamy yellow. Now let's take a look at Word. That's how it looks. And this is Excel. And this is up close. I had a document open. Even the YouTube downloader will look creamy yellow, I tell you. And even the control panel is also customized, as you can see here. Creamy yellow. <laughs> and that's it! 
On the next video, we will be changing the look of the desktop and add some pretty elements in there to complete the ensemble. The link should be on the screen. So, see you there! Bye! And if this video helped you in some way, let me know by hitting the like button and do consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you'll be updated on future cute related videos.